Nine Nights of Lights was first introduced in 2015 to commemorate its 250th anniversary of the St. Vincent Botanical Garden. And that year we had a year-long celebration, so we had various activities throughout the year. And to conclude that year, to end that year, we decided to have to light the garden. And that's why we have Nine Nights of Lights. So Nine Nights of Lights is uh, one of the largest outdoor light festival in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Over the years, Nine Nights has grown larger and larger. So we have so many different persons coming in, those from overseas and the locals. It's, it's, it's an event that is really loved by Vincentians. And what we do is we transform the St. Vincent Botanical Gardens into a garden of lights. So we're basically, we're not trying to really change the, the natural beauty of the garden, but more enhance the natural beauty with lights. And in addition to the lights, Nine Nights of Lights is a celebration of the cultural heritage of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And we do that in a various, in various ways, such as dance, pan, food, um, what we have, drama, all different things. We, we really celebrate out the cultural heritage and it kind of shows the diversity of our culture. So one night we may have drama, another night we may have pan, we have movie night which is a fan favorite, we have dance night and, and things like that. So it's, it's different for night. So persons who are interested in, in, in dance because that's, a, that's where when we see the little children showcasing their, their different skills. So persons will come out for that night. If persons just want to relax, then you, you, you might see persons coming out for the movie night because as I, get, as I said before, Nine Nights of Lights is a, it's a family oriented event, right? So it's that time when you will see fathers coming out with their children, mothers and fathers coming out with their children, friends who maybe haven't seen each other for some time coming out. So it's just that time where everybody comes out. And that's really what Nine Nights of Light is about. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we were forced to make uh, various changes. So in terms of the requirements for adults, anyone over 18 years, patrons over 18 years, will be required to be vaccinated. Patrons under 18 years may be vaccinated, but if you're not, you can still enter, but you will be required to take a rapid antigen test no older than 24 hours. And that test is, lim that test is valid for 24 hours. And with the generous donation from the Ministry of Health, they supplied us with some rapid antigen kits, tests, and this is only available for persons, children, who will be attending the Nine Nights of Light event. So if, a, for instance, a parent, they're, they're thinking about coming to the movie night, they will be, if that child is not vaccinated, what I will advise them to do is to come to the office, register, get your tickets, and then on the night of the event, or in the evening, just before the event, if possible, you can go to the, the Victoria Park, and get that child tested. So let me just and um, just remind persons that the test would be only the, the, the rapid antigen test for children will only be done at the Victoria Park. And that's if that child is going to nine nights of lights. If they're not going to nine nights of lights, they will not get that test done for free. The tests are free. Let me just remind, free. <laughs> but it's only it's limited and only for those persons, those children who will be attending the, the event. So ensure parents ensure that you get the tickets and then you can take that ticket just to show show the nurse there that you will be your child will be going to nine nights so that they will, can get that, that test done. So like I said, we were forced to make several changes and one of that is the the amount of persons that are allowed to enter per night. So this year we this it we we are only allowed 600 persons per night. So hence the reason why persons need to register and ensure that you get your tickets early. So we don't want persons coming at the gate and we full out, we're full and then you can't come. So register now, get your tickets so that that will ensure that you have a place. You're among the 600 persons. 
in terms of the admission any patrons over 12 years old you will pay five dollars under if you're between six to eleven your cost to come in will be two dollars and for patrons patrons under five you enter free with your parents so i just want to thank all the sponsors who supported us over the years and those new sponsors that we had this year we thank you you know for your support because without it i don't think nine nights would have been possible so we are really grateful definitely grateful for the support and i just want to also thank our theme those persons who are in the garden stringing the lights um the electric electricians and all those persons underground um we were just we just want to thank them for their hard work and their dedication because again without them it would have never been possible this year our focus will be on the upper section of the botanical garden the upper section and this is where we are right now this is where most of the lights are as opposed to other years we try to expand other years we try to expand and incorporate more areas but this year our focus is and this is just because of the pandemic and us deciding to have the event late normally we string lights from about october october this year we started string a night in November. So obviously we had limited time, so we decided main, to focus mainly on the upper sections of the botanical garden. So I just want to encourage persons to come out to Nine Nights of Lights 2021. Nine Nights of Lights is a family event, so bring out the children and the grandparents, bring out everyone and just come and have a really fun and good time. We are really encouraging persons to, you know, just Follow the protocols, go online to our Facebook page, SV, um, National Parks SVG, and you will see all the requirements. Follow the requirements so that you can ensure that you have everything so that, that when you come at the gate, you won't have a problem getting in. And uh, just enjoy what we have. This is a time where we celebrate the birth of Christ. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just a special time for us as Vincentian. This is our time to just enjoy it's the end of the year so let's close off the year in brightness and lights at the botanical gardens for nine nights of lights so nine nights of lights begins on wednesday wednesday the 15th and we end on the 23rd of december